like if i really want a baby like i know for sure april all i gotta do is sit on that man and it's damn i'm pregnant okay that's what's gonna happen all right so it's thundering outside right now it is storming here so i don't know if the lights may cut off or whatnot if it does it's fine <laughs> i'll just stop or whatever but but y'all may hear a little bit of thunder but really quick i just want to give like a quick update of like what's been going on since just a quick update of everything that's been going on ever since the miscarriage and like what i noticed my body going through afterwards this um being my fifth miscarriage um ever so i just want to like give a little bit of rundown first um i want to point out i noticed i'm gonna wash my face uh while i'm doing this so so i have facial hair Ooh. now i have facial hair i always had this one little chin hair that my husband used to like pluck at when we were in high school but it was one and it was really really small but like he would like pull at it i don't know if that oh no nigga that shit ain't my fault it's all that thunder i don't know if he kind of triggered um my chin a little bit trying to pull at that little chin hair that i had but he started messing with my little piece right there and i think when i was about i want to say about like 26 i seen i had a second one so now i have two I had two at 26 and then, but they were small, like you can't really see them. Now, I notice I have like five of them now. I don't even know, like, it's like after um, the miscarriage and everything, it's like I have like a little fro down here. It's like literally like four or five of them. It's like one, two, three, four, like five. So I'm like, I don't know if that's, um, what do they call that piece? P-S-O-C, P-C-O-S. I don't really know. I never really looked into it. I don't know if that's something, you know, to do with that or if um, it's like the hormones when your body is going through what it's going through. I'm not really sure. But I feel like I didn't notice like that until, um, you know, things started happening with my body. So it's like a lot of hair and it's kind of bothering me. Like, I'm like, uh-uh. I want like some laser hair removal to get that gone because I don't want to have to keep plucking at it. I have my little tweezers and I take it out, but like, it's really annoying, you know, just dealing with it and having to pluck it. Cause it does hurt when I pluck it. I don't like that feeling of like plucking it out. I have to do that, but I don't know what laser hair removal is like, but I do, I, I would like to try it and see if it will help. Just kind of get rid of it and see if it'll do anything. Another thing, I noticed a really drastic change in my skin. I have had acne in the past. When I was dealing with everything, with the miscarriage and everything, I was breaking out like crazy. So I don't know if it was because my hormones were up and down, but like now you can see I have like these really dark marks because I kept getting these huge bumps on my face. Like I'm talking so huge, you can't even like pop them and they were so painful i could not pop them let me get my cap yeah and if you know me you know i really was struggling with my skin and just trying to make sure that i uh keep up with it and i had got my skin to a certain point at one time and i was really proud of myself like always glowing i didn't even have to do too much i would just look like a, a a little a doll like my skin was really really clear and I literally would just have a one to two maybe, but no breakouts like this, like I'm a teenager. Like it was out of nowhere. So that was, that was, that was bothering me a lot. I really got uh, stressed out and I feel like that made it worse. And then I would just get more and more bumps and it made my cravings pick up. I just, I started to want to eat, you know, chocolate and cheese and everything that I'm not supposed to have. Every time I have even just one slice of cheese, I at least get like three of these huge bumps that just hurt really, really bad on my face. Um, I can't drink whole milk. I haven't drunk whole milk in like literally probably like 15 years. Like I don't drink whole milk because it used to break me out so bad. I really, I had really bad back knee. And as soon as I stopped drinking whole milk and having so much cheese, it cleared up. I really don't like, um, I don't think I could have like anything with too many hormones in it. And me being a woman dealing with all those hormones, we just, I just feel like if I'm going to drink milk, it has to be like, like plant-based milk, like almond milk or something. I can't, I can't drink like regular milk, but if I do have milk, I do like lactate milk. That's my favorite milk right now. 
Another thing I noticed I was dealing with, um, it was so weird. So after I went to the hospital and everything, I did have, um, I had to get a medication. I took a pill. You know, I don't like medicine, but I do, you know, you have to take that type of stuff once your, you know, body has to get out what it needs. I had to make sure everything was out of my body. So I had to take a pill. I didn't really read up on the pill and the side effects or anything, but I didn't feel anything after. Um, I also did get medication in my IV for pain. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I started to deal with these weird swellings in my face. Like, and I'm still dealing with it now. I just had it happen like two days ago. So the first time my lip, out of nowhere, my lip just swelled up. Ooh. I have a picture. I don't even know if I'm comfortable enough to show it, but like it swelled up so bad. It literally just looked like, it looked like I got stung by a bee on my lip, you know? And oh, another thing, I did get stung by a wasp. And I don't know if that's like bothering me. I got stung by a wasp a couple days after my birthday. And around that time, you know, I already, you know, was miscarrying and dealing with everything. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it either, but like I did get stung by uh, some sort of wasp on my stomach. So I don't know if that got anything to do with it. But yeah, that happened. My lip looked like literally like I got stung and I didn't do anything. It just had this numbing type of feeling. And then it felt like uh, it had like tingle to it when I would touch it. And it was just weird. Like I couldn't even go like this and it would just, it would feel like this numbing type of sensation. And it was just getting bigger and bigger. And it stayed like that all day. I woke up the next morning and it was still like that. Then it finally went down like later that night, uh, the next morning it was gone. It was just so weird. I don't know what it was. I didn't eat anything wrong. I ate the same thing I usually would eat. That, you know, doesn't bother me. So I don't know if it was an allergy reaction or what, but it was weird. And then it happened again, but it happened to the bottom of my lip. And it was just weird. It was just one side of my lip was bigger than the other. It was swollen. It felt the same way. Then I had this part of my head, like it was a big lump, like swollen lump on my head. And then I had a knot like right here, just swollen right here another day on my, and these are different days that I was dealing with this. It was a lump right here. You know, nothing changed in my diet. I don't know what it was. I just kept getting these random swellings in my face. And then I would also get this weird feeling in my arm as if like my arm was going to sleep or it was like numb, but it didn't have the tingling sensation when your body part falls asleep. It more so just had like a, a numbing painful type of feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but it hurt so bad. Like I couldn't even sleep like all night I would toss and turn and it was my whole arm. First it was my right arm doing it. Then it started with uh, my left arm. So that was weird. I don't know. I had that happen one day, then it happened a couple days later. So, and uh, I recently had it happen last night. So that was this arm last night. The other time was like two, three days ago with my right arm was the first time. And I've been dealing with all of this since uh, everything happened. Um, yeah, I had already scheduled a doctor's appointment, but they don't have anything until the end of August, which is annoying. That's why I don't like living out here in Tampa. Like everything, when they try to schedule you for something, they don't have anything for you until it's so far away. Like and when we was living in Miami, we could schedule something and it would literally be, it could be that same week. They could give me the next day. I even had some people try to see me the same day. Oh, well, can, are you available today? Are you like... In Miami, they would do that for you. And there's so many options. So it annoys me out here in Tampa where it's like, I don't know, it's like nobody's available. It's so weird. And it's annoying as fuck. Like, I hate it. Like, I hate living out here for real, I really do. I don't like it out here, I'm not gonna lie. I miss living in Miami. I miss being at home. I just don't like it here. I'm just gonna say that. I don't like Tampa. Um, yeah, random, you know, I was getting like small little headaches, getting lightheaded. Um, my weight is like up and down. I'm trying to like lose weight. I feel like most of my weight is in my stomach. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to lose weight in my stomach, not all around, just my stomach. I want, I just want my stomach to go down and have it toned up. That's the goal. I've been dealing with that. Like my weight is still in the 160s and I'm usually not that heavy. I mean, I like the weight, it's fine, but I am 5'3". So. I don't know if that's a little on the thickum side, you know, a little heavy or if a lot of the weight is just in my stomach, <laughs> literally. Like, I don't know if 
it's anywhere else but there I, I i really don't know so yeah other than that i just you know i'm trying to come up with more skincare routines for myself probably a week and a half after i had the miscarriage i did get me a bottle and i drank a little bit i was you know a little in my feelings so i had drank and i noticed my face started getting a little bit you know fatter again so i try not to drink too much of the wine coolers and stuff because i feel like it makes me my stomach bubbly and I also feel like it like fluctuates my face fat a little bit. So I guess it got too much sugar in it and it does that. So I try to, I'm trying to detox from drinking, honestly. Even though I love a little tipsy feeling, I love taking me a little shot of feeling tipsy. I'm, ooh, that's a good feeling, I ain't gonna lie. But I'm not trying to promote that or you, you know, I, I love to get lit, but like, I don't want to promote that and make y'all feel like you got to do that just cause I'm saying I do it, you know. No, because I don't drink all the time, but, you know, I will drink if I feel like I want to, you know, let loose and just feel good. And it's a vibe. Like, me and my husband will um, turn on music and basically have our own little family cookouts in the house with the kids. We drinking, they watching a movie, we all chilling in the same living room and just turn it up. I'm cooking. We taking look, me and my husband take little shots together. It just depends on the day, but I noticed... Um, depending on the liquor, I feel like it causes like this puffiness in your face. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it bloats you. And, you know, the less you drink, the better you look, you know. So I do plan on detoxing and uh, just trying not to drink the wine coolers. I, I'm not going to buy any more of them at all. So um, it'll be like, it's been a while since I bought any more. So I'm going to do the rest of this year with no wine coolers like at all no wine coolers i may have a little shot here and there and some some juice with it but like i'm not gonna buy the wine coolers for a while yeah just not drinking all the time you know not having a shot all the time that's what i'm gonna work on and then let me wash this off my face because i do let it sit for a little bit i like to let it dry and then rinse it off and use my other products so let me wash my face and show y'all how it looks okay so this is my face after letting it dry i usually let it air dry i use these white from walgreens i love these these are the bomb i use these to like get off a lot of the dirt and stuff afterwards or before depending on how sweaty i am i'll use one of these witch hazel wipes i love these these are so good I'll sometimes go over my nose after my face is done drying. Well, yeah, another thing I noticed after everything, my lips would dry up a lot. And I don't know if that's because of the braces, because I do remember the braces drying my lips out a lot. So I think it could be that. Right now, I, I, I don't know what else other than that. But like, I was like, I hope it's because my, you know, I hope it's not because my lips are dry and they're just swelling up. Because I really don't know why I keep having the issues with my mouth like swelling up. And, you know, I'm not allergic to anything. So it is weird. I don't know. I don't eat anything uh, different. So I don't know. I am getting my other set of braces the end of this month. I have to get my bottom rows added back on. Y'all know when you have a baby or get pregnant, you lose all your nutrients. The baby takes everything from you. You're supposed to take your prenatals and keep up with everything when it comes to your body and just uh, keeping track of your... Uh, your levels and everything and i wasn't the one to be so strict on my prenatals because like i told you i don't like taking medicine or any type of anything so yeah i lost a lot of enamel on my teeth so i was dealing with some chipping when i uh ended up pregnant again yeah so my teeth are probably not gonna look the same once i'm done doing all of my treatment so one day i do plan on i want to get my teeth like done up like um the little light composites on the teeth just to make it look a little bit more nice and neat and white just perfected like you know get my smile smile perfected and the main reason i want to do it is so i don't have to wear the lifetime retainers and like i feel like that's the only thing i would literally want to do because i don't want to have to keep getting braces and fixing my teeth and i do have a gap i was born with a gap god bless me with a gap and i finally wanted to change it when i was in my mid-20s so yeah, that's gonna, the gap is gonna keep coming back if I don't stay on top of the retainers. And I don't like the permanent retainer idea. So when I do do it, I plan on getting my teeth done like in the future when I got some money on, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's not cheap. So 
when I'm rich one day, because I know the Lord going to bless me to be rich, because I want to give back and help people. So I know he's going to make it happen. I know it's happening. And I can't wait. I can't wait to be rich and just be throwing money on people, because that's, that's something I always see myself doing, like just giving back. I just can't wait to do that. Mainly to like moms and single moms who need help and stuff like that. And anybody who would want to like, you know, just look to me for support. I would love to do that because I feel like I don't have that. And I want to be that to somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, it's hard to cite and talk about that because I just love that idea. Yeah, um, I, 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 I'm working on my weight and everything. Um, I did feel like I, I was dealing with a lot of hormones. Like, I was super moody during the week. Uh, the week I uh, had the miscarriage. Like, after I had the, um, the pill and everything. I don't know if that was some of the side effects of the pill you know being moody and everything i didn't like that at all i just felt like moody a little bit not really depressed or sad i just felt like moody like agitated and i'm not a person that really just gets agitated like that so that was weird to me that i was a little agitated um yeah and then you know the kids are on summer break so I just was like, why is every little thing they doing bother me? Like, it usually don't be like that. So, but that only lasted like a week and a half. And oh, I was so glad I felt back to normal later. You know, not as moody. I just felt like myself. At the end of the day, I know everything happens for a reason. I just want you all to know uh, me and my husband are not sad or mad about um, what happened you know, because God, he makes all the plans. Everything is already written. What's supposed to happen is supposed to happen. And God knows what's best for us. So, you know, we weren't trying and um, it is what it is. It does happen to women. And I'm not sad. I feel like also because this is the fifth time it happened to me. So it was just like, a oh, okay, well, I kind of was, you know, if it was going to happen, I like almost like I'm used to it kind of thing um as far as like contraceptives and me and my husband trying to figure out how to prevent we just old school you know we feel like if it happens it happens because God you know they're bless blessing you with the seed you know you take care of it I love babies I love kids so if I'm blessed with a seed I you know I'm gonna provide I'm gonna take care of my baby um like I told you I don't believe in abortions and uh, getting rid of babies, you know, whatever you choose to do with your body is your body. It's just me personally. I just don't uh, do that. But I'm not against women who do that. If you, I'm not finna talk to someone and tell them what to do with their body. If they want to do that and they feel like that's the best option for them, I feel like they should do what's best for them. Everyone should do what's best for, you know, their life. So... Yeah, we, we just, you know, most times we, we, we do try not to do anything um, in April. That's usually me and him, our most fertile month. So we are way too fertile in April. And we honestly, I think it just slipped our mind and we was getting down with the get down in April. Like it was no tomorrow and boom, like it was so easy. It's like, if I really want a baby, like I know for sure, April, all I got to do is sit on that man and it's damn, I'm pregnant. Okay. That's what's going to happen. But, um, yeah, I, just, it's just so crazy, you know, like, cause I was scared. I was like, oh my God, I, I really, I just started thinking about when I had JR and I was just scared cause y'all know JR was like, he was about 11 pounds and I had him natural. So that just scared me all together. Like I didn't even, you know, think my little self could have a baby that big. So I just was thinking of that and I was just scared and I was like, oh my God, I thought JR was going to be my last baby. He's like, I don't, I'm not ready to like stop treating him like the baby, you know? And that's what you got to do when you have a baby. Like when you have another baby, you got to make sure you are loving all of them the same. And it's hard, y'all. It's not easy raising kids. You have to make sure everybody is mentally okay. And it's a job. Like it really is. Being a parent is a full-time job. It's not just you having kids and you pushing them off and like, letting them do their own thing. You have to be with them and raise them and just talk to them and take care of them and love on them and be, 
you, you literally build the relationships. You know, if you're not good with relationships or uh, showing affection and talking, communicating, you don't need to have kids. You don't need, especially having more than one. If you can't keep up with one person and just, you know, maintain the relationship, you should not have kids. Okay, and uh, another thing, people who don't have kids, stop fucking talking to me. Like, stop talking, stop trying to give me advice. You don't got no kids, don't give me no advice. I'm sorry to say that's so harsh, but like, stop fucking playing with me. Like, for real. Stop playing with me. Don't open your fucking mouth. Okay, sorry. Sorry to my ones who, you know, don't be want me to act like that. I'm saying sorry to y'all. I'm not saying sorry to them. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck. Don't talk to me. If you don't have no kids, like, and, and don't, don't talk to me if you, if you got kids and you don't even take care of them, for one. Don't, don't you open your fucking mouth, okay? Like, I'm gonna say that. Don't open your mouth. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that real quick. Because, like, yeah, I just, you know, I love people who value their kids, like me and my husband. Because I, I can't, I can't put nothing in front of them. Like, that's... That's my everything. I'm telling you, I will end the world for them. So if you are not like that about your kids, then you can't talk to me. Like, we can't be cool. We can't be friends. I love kids. They are the future and they are so important. So it's important that they know that they are loved and treated the right way because they're going to be the ones, the adult in the future. So you have to make sure that they're mentally stable. The freak. If they're not... It's not going to be good for us. Like, how are we going to let them go off in the world if they're not okay? Like, that's crazy. Okay, so this Bantu knot, I had already took these two out. So, this is crazy. <laughs> but, like, I had these in for, like, two weeks. Like, that um, that same week of, you know, the end of my birthday week, I had put these Bantu knots in. And I left them in. Like, I haven't been doing anything to my hair. So, look at the top. <laughs> so... It's exciting because I'm about to straighten my hair. So I'm gonna show y'all a little length check. Ooh, length check. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I can't wait. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. So yeah, I I haven't been doing my hair at all. Um, this is just, this was just to protect my hair. This is so my hair could be sectioned off and I can wash it, untangle it, and then put it right back. This is going to be my new way of keeping up with my hair. I'm going to be bantu knotting my hair and just keeping it up like that because I just want to, um, just keep it on track because I do plan on getting some more platinum back on there. I do like having platinum hair and that's just that. I really do. It's fun. It's um, cute on me. I feel like that color looks really good on my skin. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That shit look good on me. I don't care. Like, I don't care what nobody say. You can't tell me nothing. I was cute with that hair color. I was so cute. And I do feel like I inspired a lot of people with my complexion to, you know, try that hair color. So, yeah. And we got a lot of new growth going on. I don't even be used like be careful with my hair oil. If you don't if you get if you don't want your hair to grow super fast and super long for real, like seriously, do not use my hair oil. This stuff is it's a real growth oil, like for real. And it's all organic. I don't have no crazy stuff in my oil. I got the real deal. Like look at all this new growth. You don't see none of that color on my roots no more. Like seriously. That's crazy. That's crazy. Undercut. Look at the undercut. Y'all remember I cut my hair. What was that? October 2023. And look at this. Like what? Y'all can't tell me that's not like. And I don't put my oil on all the time. So that's good. I'm really out here. I need to figure out how to get my oil on TikTok so I can take over. I'm trying to be the rich girl with the products and making the money, the money, the mosh money. You know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to get out there. Like, I don't know why the devil keeps trying to get in my mother freaking way. I can't get my TikTok, my, um, my TikTok shop up right. 
they said I got some sort of violation. I don't know what that is, but that and then my Etsy. I already filed the appeal, and girl, they is not having it. So Etsy gone out of there. But I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's fine. I do know how to master Etsy though. If anybody is on Etsy and they need help, I do have courses and classes and all of that good stuff. I do got to make a separate video about my little stuff. Me being a little teacher. I got little stuff. I'm so excited about that. That's crazy. I'm about to start doing other stuff. I really do. I got to stop playing with myself. I'm really like that girl. And I just be, I don't be, I got to get back on here. I think I'm about to start uploading every other day. What y'all think? And what videos do y'all want to see? What do y'all want to see? I don't do nothing, but um, let me know. Let me know. So that's it for today. I'm just going to leave this like this. I am going to show y'all the girl's hair. I am prepared, preparing their shampoo and all of that stuff. So I'm going to show y'all that and show y'all how I get them so cute. And we're going to church tomorrow, so I might vlog tomorrow too. But for now, I'm going to, I guess, go back downstairs. Because this, this part was long. I don't know if this should be like separate from the other half. Yeah, it'll be separate and that'll be two different videos. Yeah. So I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Um, stay tuned for me. About to straighten my hair and clip my ends. I can't wait to do that. My hair is dried and just it needs some love. I haven't been doing nothing, but we're going to get it back together because, yes, we have us a lot of hair and we got edges for real. And we just need to stop playing with ourselves. Bye. Love you, girl. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And comment any questions or video ideas. Anything y'all got. Anything y'all want to say. And yeah, keep loving your stuff. And say it, bad bitch. Stay like that. Fuck them hoes. They not paranoid. No shit. They not stopping nothing. Keep going. Keep being you. And stop playing with me. Stop playing with me in the comments. The ones who be mad. Stop. Yeah, because I really don't care. I'm just playing. Bye, girl. Mm -hmm.